Hello DT, I want to show you something. Uh, while playing around with some deformers, I found out that um, that using a twist deformer will give us a really nice forearm twist. Uh, way easier than achieving it with, with using the the auxiliary bones the Lano thought us uh, shown us in the character rig for production. So I'm gonna gonna show you quick how, how I made this. I have the weight painting of the wrist in a way that the this edge loop is being fully controlled by the wrist and this one is being and this one is being uh, controlled with zero weight for the wrist. So now I'm gonna select Into at the joints. I'm gonna select those edge loops here, and now I'll apply a twisty former. Rotate it around so that it matches the arm, and now when I When I adjust the start angle, the arm will twist. And now you see, let's set the start angle to something like negative 180. This is moving the arm in a, in a way, but this is easy to fix. You just need to move the handle so that it matches to the, to the head position. That looks fine. And now, oops, you can have the arm twist. Now, so when I now move the hand, I can get a really nice twist using the twist deformer, and this really does preserve the volume. So now let's check this in high resolution. And now the only thing I need to do is to parent the, the twist handle to the forearm joint so that everything moves. Moves accordingly. And now I also can Oh, um, wait. Need to find that handle. I can now define using the the high bound attribute here. I can define how how heavy the joints rotation is. So when I when I drag this out to here, it will simulate or it will twist the joints as if the twist would would start from here. So that this section would twist much heavier than before. So I find a, a value of 1.5 looks very nice. So when we now twist this, it's very natural. And we could now connect the the start angle attribute to this controller's rotation instead of setting up the whole the whole system using our auxiliary deformers. Uh, but my question was now: Is this is this really efficient? I find this is really easy to set up, and it gives us really nice results with volume preservation and all that stuff. But why would wouldn't the learner use this? So that's my question. Any comments would be welcome. See you around.